Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, Land Rover 90 2.5 diesel, finished in white. Um, lots of bits and bobs on this one. It's got checker plate on the top of the front wings. Uh, it's got a superb full Brown Church um, roof rack with rear ladder. Uh, it's got uh, lights wired into the front, which um, work from the switch. It's got side steps. It's also running, um, what are the size of those? 750 by 16 LTs, uh, tire-wise, which are nice combination on off-road ones. It's got rear step. It's got a full tow pack in the back here. Um, it's full uh, four seats. In other words, it's a seven-seater. It's got the full four seats. It's all checker plated out in the back. Uh, the rear seats have also got seat belts, so it is county specification almost without the uh, the headlining. Uh, it's also got opening rear windows, big mud flaps on the back. Um, it's also got um, privacy glass to the rear, Pro presumably is privacy film actually to the rear. Um, nice original um, 90 really, it's a badge defender but it's actually a 90. Um, let's take a closer look around it. Uh, it's white so shows a few marks and stuff but uh, seems to be pretty good. Um, nasty sticker on the bonnet, I'm sure that would peel off. We've got some electrolytic reaction in the centre of the bonnet and three sort of uh, circles, not sure what they are, in the middle there. Carrying on round, all looks very straight down the near side. We've got a slight dent just there, just about the size of a fingernail in the front of the near side front wing. Um, but otherwise it doesn't look as if it's ever been taken off road, looks like it just had to light use really. Um, bulkhead up here is all nice. Dash, uh, the, the screen up there is good, obviously the roof rack's superb. A little bit of reaction just coming up around the uh, the hinge here for the screen, but that's all good around there. Um, obviously the check strap on the passenger door has failed at some point, there's a small dent just there in the, uh, um, in the bulkhead, which they always do. Electrolytic reaction on the bottom of the passenger door, um, very normal once again, and some bubbling up, electrolytic bubbling just here on the door top. Um, inside, very, very nice in here actually. Um, it's the seats of the vinyl ones. Um, we've also got the dog or cargo guard behind us. They've got headrests on them. Splits as usual in the seams on the backrest, on the uh, passenger seat and also in the squab on the driver's seat. Um, the dash is nice. It's got a, uh, a radio cassette in there but I can't make it make any noise. Um, all the lights are coming on on it but no noise. Um, Bit of bubbling on the near side sill cover, a couple of bits on the wing there. It's had a bit of touching in just around here underneath the window. Um, and again, around the, the back of the wing there, there's also electrolytic reaction bubbling up around the back of the, um, the near side wing. Um, electrolytic reaction on the tailgate along there and up there. It's always away with these. Uh, excuse my bag. The, those seats will fold down as well. Um, so they all checker plated out in the back there very nicely. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, cross member looks good from this side. Looking down the near side, or the offside rather. Uh, once again it's had some touching in work uh, where they tend to rot along, uh, along here. It's been touched in, presumably it's been uh, filled or something on the steel bit along there. Um, a little bit of bubbling still just underneath the, the paint just around there. Um, some reaction around the base of the uh, offside rear wing just there. Uh, and some paint loss just down the bottom of the decal and a bit of reaction on the door. Um, that's about it. Inside here, as we say, dash is nice. All this is good, but we do have a, a split in the, um, in the vinyl on the driver's seat, which is the norm. Um, a few bubbles just coming up on the on the edge of the bulkhead here, but uh, uh, the bulkhead itself seems to be in pretty good shape. Certainly at the top, but being a white one, it would show any uh, any marks. But there's just a couple of bubbles coming up there. And offside front wing has got a sort of a gouge in it from there to there. Um, hasn't broken the paint, but looks like it has been touched in at some point. Natural fact. Around it, that's about it. Um, my name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771. 906-9353 or in the office on 0118-946-3352 if you want any more information on this uh, rather nice 
90 uh, diesel. End.